Um, good morning. I'm going to show you how to uh, get dressed in this little entry uh, video to kind of help help you get started uh, getting into OS Grid. Now this is about getting dressed. Uh, avatars don't really you don't really start with a really nice avatar uh, in OpenSim, but it's easy to change. Let's see. See we got a choice here. Uh, I keep them on my sim to kind of help you get dressed and change, get get a look that you like. Um, let's choose this guy here on the left, and I'll click him, and it should give me. Yeah, it gave me a folder named Denari North America, which is that avatar. Okay, and I accept it right there. Now I go about the inventory, and I look for that. I could go into recent. And there he is. So you just, okay, it's all there. He's got your hair and jeans and stone washed socks and eyes and shape. And what you do is you put your cursor over the folder, which is, this is a folder over here on the, on the right uh, in the inventory. And with that name, you right click it and go down to replace current outfit. Now watch, this is where the magic happens. And sometimes it may take a little bit. There we go. And see it's changing now. And you're changing clothes. You don't. There we go. Now, well, it's not the, not the prettiest critter in the world, but he's got different clothes now. Okay, now, what you want to do is you want to go up here and uh, go to Avatar Preferences. Usually you start out pretty usable, with us pretty usable settings. But you don't you don't really see it like you want it. You know you you rather you want a, a stunning view. You want something more realistic than you know your basic view. So you go down here to uh, graphics and preferences. And I like to keep mine about high. It depends on what your computer can handle. And set your draw distance up. Uh, a simulator is 256 by 256 meters. So if you're looking, if if you set it at 512, you should be able to see across two sounds. And then you just click OK. And things should be starting to look a little bit better here. Yeah. And this is where you start out on my sim here in OS Grid. I keep everything phantom that I can. So, so you can walk through stuff. You can, you can actually walk through it. And... Because sometimes it's kind of hard to navigate when you're new or you might have a big program running in the background or be watching TV while you're here and 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 things slow down a lot, you know, and you're not able to move like you really want to. But uh, this saves, it makes everything run smoother because, you know, computer doesn't have to calculate collisions uh, if everything wasn't. Okay, now these are, uh, these are just my notices and my... Uh, information this is this is an information area here when you first log in uh, this big one on top here this is my uh, Noah's Ark exhibit and you can right click and go there uh, we'll go there in a little bit but we got our t-shirts down here on the bottom all these boxes here these are t-shirts that I made that you can use uh, I call them Christian bling uh, and these up here are different places on the sim that you can go uh, this is uh, faith west is what we call this, this this little building here and i hope you can see my cursor uh, this is a christian information center we'll we'll go there in a little bit uh, this is the expo area uh, conference center is what i call it uh, it's right over here and uh, plan on holding some Pretty cool stuff there in the future. Now, this is Faith Chapel. This is uh, this is where all the magic happens. Um, and this on the end is uh, Club Eternity. Now let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can get to some of these places. We'll stop at the high, start at the highest one here, 
which would be the Noah's Ark exhibit. And it starts at uh, 2,000 meters in the air. So we right click on it and see teleport. Uh, there's, a, there's a little clock, uh, you know, here. And at about 10 o'clock, you see teleport. We just click teleport. And here we are. And let me get this out of the way here, this inventory out of the way. Uh, now, in, in virtual worlds, you can set the, the sky the way you want, uh, everything, the water to look a certain way. Now, I had to kind of get a generic look uh, here for, for people. So I set it at sun, uh, noon, midday. Uh, you can get it to follow normal time, so you'll have morning, noon, you know, evening, night. Um, <clears throat> but this is a little dis display I, I put up here to Noah's Ark. Uh, it explains a lot of the Bible. Uh, it, it's an allegory for uh, what happens when you're saved. You know, God takes you into into his safety before he does anything. Like before the flood, Noah took you into the ark. Or God put you in the ark. God sealed the door behind Noah. Noah didn't close the door. Noah didn't get the animals. God brought the animals, put them in the ark. He gathered Noah and his family, put them in the ark, and then he sealed the door up. Uh, and that's that's the same thing. You know, when God saves us, he, he puts his seal on us. We're, we're in there. We're good. It's, it's all God's work. We didn't have anything to do with it. Okay, but anyway, I got a bunch of it, of uh, information about Noah's Ark here. And a lot of people don't believe in Noah's Ark. A lot of Christians don't even believe in Noah's Ark, which is silly because there's evidence of Noah's Ark. They found Noah's Ark. Uh, it's And there's evidence of the flood everywhere. Um, but I left it empty of animals because I wanted to show it as it was just being built. Uh, it took Noah 100 years to build it. And uh, Noah lived over 900 years. People lived longer back then. Uh, we have what we've called, what they call genetic entropy over time. People are, are just gradually kind of, you know, unwinding. We weren't made to, you know, in these bodies to live forever. We live in a fallen state. Um, and that'll change, you know. We'll get new bodies that are, are not affected by the fall. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Noah's, and, and there's a lot of information around out here too. I, w I didn't want Noah living in the middle of Ur, his, the town that he lived in, in Sumer, uh, because he didn't. He was a farmer. Uh, he wasn't a carpenter. <laughs> and uh, I put a, put a, what I assumed would be a, a farm, because there's like 4,000, you know, years ago, and we don't really have a lot of information about it. Uh, now, over here, you see a display. In virtual worlds, it's media rich. You can you can put media on anything. And the same with this. See, uh, this is a this shows what was life like in Noah's time. You just click it, and it auto zooms you to it, and you get a video. Or well, in this case, you get a a, a web page. But anyway, yeah. And to get away from that, you just Left click on something else and you can zoom out again. Uh, you do a lot with your mouse and your keyboard, especially the arrow keys. Uh, a lot of people you know, like to use shortcut keys. I, I don't really kind of have that, that much memory. But <laughs> I forget. Uh, okay, let's go to somewhere else. The next nearest place would be Club Eternity. That's a Christian club. And it's here, it's at 1,000 meters, so we'll go there. And to do that, you just find your landmark in inventory, and you either double-click it or right-click it and teleport. Now, I'm requesting teleport. Usually, it's pretty, almost instantaneous, so there's probably something going on here. Uh, sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it just goes, poof, you're there before you know what's going on. I'm hoping that I don't crash. Uh, OS Grid is a sim that develops this software that makes all this possible. 
and they're all the time up, upgrading it and trying new stuff and you know that's what they do and sometimes when they're in the middle of building stuff uh things get a little slow get a little wonky you know not quite right but uh i think this is a pretty good start to showing people how to do things and i'll see you in a little bit bye